Today I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in Battlefield 1. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is go to settings, then video, then click advanced at the top. Now before we do anything, make sure your resolution scale option is set to 42%. Now you're wondering why? Well 42% is basically 1080p. This is the basic setting every game has. 100% is like 4K resolution and we don't need that as it's just not worth trying and you will absolutely drop to 2 frames guys. Now the resolution scale is what you want to mess with if you have all the options set to low. Basically, if you're still lagging after setting the resolution scale to 42%, then set it down even lower and see if your frames start getting better. Alright guys, so lastly, you're going to want to simply set the graphics quality to low. Alright, so go back and make sure vertical sync is off, motion blur is set to zero, and weapons DOF to off. Now the full screen resolution is another big one. Basically, the lower the numbers, the higher the FPS you will receive. But the game will be pretty blurry depending on how low you go. Now if you lag a lot, you might need to set the resolution to like 1280 by 1024 Now the game won't look too great guys, but your FPS should go up. Another way to fix the blurriness a little is to set the game to windowed mode. It'll make the game scale smaller, but it won't be as blurry. Now guys, the next steps I'm going to share with you are from my previous video I made. These methods still apply to Battlefield. Follow all the methods and your game FPS will increase. The next method is to disable the arrow theme. To do this you must right click on your desktop and click personalize. Scroll down until you see Windows Classic. Click it and you're done. It will make your windows look a little uglier, but it will help increase your FPS slightly. The next method is using Game Booster. Game Booster can increase the FPS of your game by disabling any unnecessary programs running in the background. This will maximize your system's performance to give you the highest frames. First you're going to want to type Game Booster and click the first link. Next you're going to want to click Download Now right below. Next you're going to want to run through the installation process. You're going to have to create an account after you have installed Game Booster. Next you're going to want to click Boost, then Boost Now. It will start boosting your game and you will start noticing a slight FPS boost maybe. You could also boost it by just running any of your games you want to play. Once you're done playing your game, you can hit the Restore Now button to restore your computer to its default settings. The next method is to use Park Control. What this method will do is force your computer to run on all your cores, on any game you play. This can significantly increase the performance of your game and boost your FPS. First you're going to want to go to Google and type in Park Control, and then click the first link. Then you're going to want to click 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on your computer. To find out if you are running 32-bit or 64-bit, click on Start menu and right-click My Computer, then click Properties. You'll see System Type and mine show 64-bit, which means I have to download and run the 64-bit version. You're going to want to install Park Control and run through the process. Once you have installed Park Control and ran through the whole process, open up Park Control. You will notice your Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, Frequency Scaling DC are all enabled. Disable all those and hit Apply. Make sure setting is high performance too. You might also have more or less cores than me. It's always different on everyone's PC. Before you hit apply, you will notice that the green bars are not all active. Once you hit apply, you will notice that they will all start going up. That means all your cores are being used and you can run any game and it should perform better. The next method is to have your power options on high performance. You're going to want to go to control panel, click system and security, then you're going to want to hit power options and make sure it is not unbalanced. Make sure it's on high performance. The next method is to make sure your computer is booting on all its cores. You're going to want to hit start, type in run, click on run and type msconfig. Hit ok, click on boot, click advanced options. Then you're going to want to hit enable on that check mark, and then click on the highest number you see. Mine is 8 so I keep it on 8. Hit ok, hit apply, click ok and then restart your computer. The last method is to download CCleaner. CCleaner is a disk cleanup tool. It will delete any junk files that are stored on your computer over time. Don't worry, these files are not files that you own. They are temporary files that get stored on your computer system after many website searches and game launches. To download CCleaner, type CCleaner in Google and click on the first link. Then click download and it should auto start to download. Run the installer and open CCleaner. Once opened, click analyze. It might take a few minutes for the first time 
time analyzing all the junk files on your computer. By doing this every day, it will help your computer's daily performance. Once the analyzation is complete, click on run. Let that finish and once the run is finished, I like to click run a few more times just to make sure all the junk is gone. Now I hope my tutorial will help some of you guys to be able to run Battlefield without any problems. I will be mainly doing Overwatch and CSGO guides for all you guys. If you have any questions leave them down below and I will gladly answer them. I will also be doing giveaways in the future. These giveaways will be working in a certain way. It's a subscribers only giveaway. You must be subscribed to the channel to enter. For every new video I make I will have a few people that will win Steam credits or Battle.net credits or paid games or any sort of Prizes. I will have a system at the end of each video that will randomly pick any of my subscribers to win these giveaways. I will then PM you on YouTube if you are a winner. Even if you don't watch the videos you can still win as long as you are a subscriber of my channel. Just make sure to check your inbox every time I make a new video. The winners will be displayed on the videos at the end of each video. If that winner does not respond back to me within a certain time frame, I'll be announcing another winner for that video on my Twitter page which is linked in the description below. So make sure to follow me on there too. Thank you for watching and more Overwatch and CSGO videos will be posted weekly.